Shalom Aleichem, Rabbi Isai. We are here again today, the week of um, Balak. Balak is the king of Moab who wanted the Jewish people destroyed. He was so obsessed with the fear of the Bnei Yisrael coming to him, he was, went out of his kalim. He went out of his mind because he just saw this little nation, little nation, of 600,000 men between 20 and 60, and then the women and the children and the older people, which, and the Geirim, Erev Rab, which totaled 6 million, survived 40 years in the Midbar with no food, natural food, with no, has to be Alpinate, and wiped out the two biggest giants on earth, Oak and Sichon, who were guarding the eastern border of Eretz Canaan, and Moab is on the eastern border. So, uh, he was afraid by Yogar. He was petrified by these uh, invincible, unstoppable B'nai Israel. All the Goyim around there knew that God spoke to this nation. All of them knew that the Hashem split the Yamsuf. Forty years later, they heard about it. They learned, they heard that the Egyptian army was powerless to stop them walking out of their country a year before, uh, forty years before. He was petrified, Bullock, the king of Moab. Moab was on the right side of Yarli, uh, where Jordan is, a little below Jordan. Moab, uh, the Jews had no intention of destroying Moab. Og and his country up in the Bashan, Og Malab, that destroyed them. Sichon on the right side where Jordan is and northern, what today we call Saudi Arabia, destroyed them. God never told them to destroy uh, Moab. God, you couldn't have sent Isra to destroy Moab because Mashiach comes from Moab. Mashiach comes from Rus. And, she, and she's the daughter of, uh, of the grand granddaughter of Eglon Melech Moab. But they were petrified. They were petrified. The Jews are going to wipe us out. Didn't he say when he hired that prophet called Bilam? They will lick us up like a cow licks up grasses. We're small change to them. Oh, who was hired by those nations on the right side of the Ardem to protect the eastern seaboard. Uh, no, it's the seaboard. The eastern border. Moshe killed Oak and his brother Sichem. There's no protection on the east boundary that you call the east bank. It's wide open. Here come them Jews. They're going to wipe me out, he said. Bilam, he hired Bilam from the Euphrates River, Nahar Paras, Euphrates. That's the river that divides Iraq with Iran. He hired us 380 miles by camel, who knows, 18 days travel. Uh, he, he, he sent Shluchim out there to get him to come to Moab, right next to the, the Yardin. Curse them, the Jews, then maybe I can fight them. So, Bullock hated Jews. He wanted them out of his country. Bilam hated them more. He wanted them out of the earth. You see, Bilam was the greatest prophet the Gentiles ever had. Says Achazal, he was as great as Moshe Rabbeinu. In knowledge. But he was a low-life pervert who lived with his behemoth. And never, never, never did a Bodhisattva or ever told a lie. Whatever Hashem put in his mouth, he said. He was hired to curse them. Three times he blessed them. Because he's not going to be a liar, he said to Bullock. I will not go against Hashem's wishes. That much chokhmah he had. He is not a chakron. And he is not obeyed a vodazor. Only to Hashem. And um, his curse has worked years before for Moab. And uh, Bullock had no choice. Actually, Bullock hated Bilaam. But it says in Rashi, when two dogs hate each other, and they're fighting with each other, when a bear comes, they get together, the two dogs, to fight off the bear. Like you see in the world today, the nations, the Muslim nations, they hate each other, but they fight areas as well, and they're, they're unified. Let's start the center of Bullock. By the way, there's... Um, a number of sedras that are named for people. Some for tzaddikim, some for rishoyim. Noach, Chayisoro, Pinchas, Yisro, tzaddikim. 
four. And then you have Rishoyim, Korach, Bolok, um, I don't know, there's some for Rishoyim and some for Zadikim. So, um, do you say Eilid told us Noach, and it's called Noach, so, why don't you say Eilid told us Yitzchak? Hmm? Eilid told us Noach? These are the generations of Noach, and he mentioned the name, Shem Chom Yochas. And you call him Noach, even though it had word Eilid told us in front? Why don't you call it Eilid told us Yitzchak? Yankov and Esau? Why don't you call it, there's no Pasha called. Yitzchak is called Toldos. So why don't you call Noach Toldos? Hmm? Think about that. Eilid told us, you know what? Because it's about Noah building the table and all about the floods, so that's the main subject. Eilid told us Yitzchak is not only about Yaakov, Yitzchak, or Yaakov and Esau, there's other things there too. That's why it's called told those. But Noah is only about Noah, from the first word to the last. It's called Noah. Uh, so the one for Yitzchak is called told those. Not uh, Yitzchak, because there's more things in there than just having the sons and the two brothers have a little fight. So you have um, Noah, Sora, uh, Pinchas, what's the other one? Yisrael, and, the, and that's four good. And then I think the three bad is uh, Korach, Balak, and uh, I don't know. Okay. Bayar Balak ben Sipar. Balak the son of a bird. That means his father was called Tipa. But his father and him were bird, bird charmers. And so, Vayar Bolag ben Tipa is called Asher also Yisrael Amori. What the Jews did to the Amorites. Well, he did to Og too, but the Amorites were right next to it, to the right side. Boa of Og was up there in Golan, in Bashan. Um, but he saw what they did. They, they killed them. They killed their after Yasichan and Og and took their country away from them. In fact, that country, the whole uh, the strip of the right-hand side of the, uh, the Yardane from the Kinneret, from Har uh, Cherem, all the way down to the bottom of the Dead Sea, to Nachal Zeged, that was 250 miles, 500 meters, 250 miles. That was taken by two and a half Shvatim, Reuben God, the Chatzish Shev, and Menashe. I don't know how deep it was, 5, 10, 20 miles, I don't know, but two, Reuben God, the Chatzish Shev, and Menashe, were such tremendous warriors, they had so much cattle, and sheep and goat and horses and cows, they needed their own country for 250 miles long and a few miles wide. They took the whole right side. That was in Eretz Israel. Moshe died in Eretz Israel, didn't die in Eretz Canaan. El Ho Ares Losova, that land between the river and the ocean, and the Mediterranean, that you're not coming to. That's Ho Ares, that particular land that is a little more Kedusha than the right side. That Moshe didn't get to, but Eretz Yisrael he died. All right, Eretz Yisrael divided him in twelve to for Shvatim, and two and a half Shvatim is part of the twelve. So they got Eretz Yisrael. Like you have New York State, you got Albany, you got Binghamton, uh, Buffalo. Then you have New York City, New York, New York. That's the five boroughs. So you have Eretz Yisrael, then you have Eretz uh, El Hor, it's Eretz Canaan, er, El Hor, or is that particular land? It's a little more kedusha in the West Bank. And the East Bank. My ninety percent the same. Yar Bolak Ben Sibra is called Ashu Asi Yisrael Amori. But Yogar he trembled. He felt like a gear, Yogar, gear in his own country. Because soon they're gonna take it away. They killed the biggest two giants. But Yogar Moab and Leha Um, because of the Um, but owed very much. Kiravu, they were many. Many. How many? Five and a half million. Come on, that's a many. Ooh. Rob, they were tremendously powerful. Five million is like 50 million, because look what they did. They're a nothing little nation. They wiped out the two biggest giants in the world. And they defeated the Egyptian government and the Egyptian army, because they drowned 40 years ago in the, in the Gulf, there, yeah, in, in the Yamsu, which is a Gulf of the Yamsu. The Yamsu ends, then there's two Gulfs Gulf of Aqaba and Gulf of Suez. Mifchatz, Suez, Mifchatz, uh, Aqaba. Aqaba is the Arabic name for Eilat. And um, so they, they drowned in that gulf over there, left side, right outside of Mitzrayim, in the, dead, in the Red Sea, Yam Suf. But since they saw the gulf came to an end, they called the Yam Sof. One reason is it has reeds, Suf, I know, a lot of swamp. But the direct second one was the Red Sea that ended in two gulfs, Mifchat Zelat and Mifchat Suez. So they saw it end, no? And the Yam Sof, it ends. Right? That's one of the reasons. 
Anyhow, they saw the Egyptian army there and killed, and they figured there the Jews were invincible. Well, they surely are. God took them out of his mind. But Yokots, not only was he felt like a gear in his own country, by Yokots, he was disgusted that soon he's going to lose his country, and these guys are going to take over. But Yokots were Mepneho on Maot very much. Kiravu, they were tremendous around them. They, they, in their mind, they were more than five million. Um, they were Yokos from Zayb and Israel. But Yomar Moav El Zigne Midian. So they sent the messenger to Saudi Arabia. That's Midian. That's where Israel lived. That's where Moshe ran away when Pharaoh was about to kill him. 80, uh, 120 years. Oh, well, yeah, about when he was 15 years old. Maybe 105 years ago, he ran out of Egypt and across the Sinai Desert and down into across the Yardane, down to Saudi Arabia. It's called Midian. And he met Yisro, happened to be an advisor of Pharaoh. Pharaoh had three advisors, Bilam, Yisro, and Eo. So, um, why do you go to Midian? Because Moshe lived in Midian for 50 years, I don't know, 30 years. So he says, well, what's the nature of this nation? The, the man that was the lead of the nation, what is he? He said, they said, well, you know, he believes in this invisible God and their power is in their mouth. Feel our prayer. Oh, we have a man who has a powerful mouth. Now they will lick up Hakohol, this big community. It's called Svibu Sengdom. Now they have already licked up the whole Sichon and Og, the whole eastern bank there. Called Svibu Sengdom, and I'm here by myself, Moab here, stuck up against the Arctic. Till Chokha Shars Yerka Sada, like a shar, a bull, licks up the vegetables of the field. Now, right away, when you hear this, you have to stop and say, Rabbi, what do you mean? What do you mean? Cows don't eat vegetables. Good. That's my father's word in the Mayan base of Sheba. Just like a cow eats grains, whatever, grasses, and he comes to the end of the field, there happened to be some uh, vegetable garden there, uh, carrots, tomatoes, whatever, beans, and he'll eat it by accident. He says, these people will wipe us out by accident. We are small change compared to Psychon and Oak. Just like a cow, we eat a few vegetables by accident. They will wipe us out. <laughs> Agav, it's nothing to them. We're nothing. Nothing. By accident, all those walkways over us. We're nothing to them. Like you say in English, small change, you don't count. Depends if we're as Yerik Hasod, because cows don't eat Yerik vegetables. Bolak Ben Sibra Melf Moab, he and Bolak Ben Sibra was the king of Moab at that time. They had, they killed Sichon. Sichon had a head of the army called Bolag. So Bolag was promoted from the head of general of the army after Sichon, the king was killed. They made him the king of Moab. The Yishalak Melachim, they sent agents. El Bilam Ben Ba'ar, Bilam the prophet, Ben Ba'ar, the son of Ba'ar. That's also a funny name. This man is called Tibra Ben Ba'ar, Bolag Ben Sibra. Bolag the son of a bird. They're making fun of him. You're allowed to make fun of him, show him. And him too, Bilam ben Bar, the son of an animal. An animal. The Irim is animals. Son of an animal. His father was a prophet, uh, not a prophet, a sorcerer also. His father was Bola, Bilam ben Bar. The ear, Bar ear, and by base, I involved Reish, that's an animal. The Sora, to the river Pesora. The river. Pesora, Poras. I know the soft switch to a Samach. Poras, Euphrates River. He was over in Iraq. Also, he was a Poser Chalomos. He interpreted dreams. Bone Bar, Pesora, back to the town of, uh, to the river, to the country of Iraq, where the river Euphrates is. Poros, Poros, Porsar, the great interpreter of dreams, the great prophet of the Gentiles. Asher al and the which is by that big river, the Euphrates River. Eretz B'nei Amo, the land where he comes from. And Bolak actually came from there too. He knew, knew Bill of they were kids, friends. They both came from Iraq. Likrodo to call him, to invite him. Lame he says, look, he sends as message and says, you know, Hine, I'm Yosem, it's fine. There's a nation that came out of Egypt. Bolak is atheist. What do you mean, it came out? God took them out. No, oh, don't believe that. And they gained their freedom like all nations fight for their freedom and he got his freedom. Ah, 
they just happen to come out of Mitzrayim, you mean? He's an atheist. Not Bilam. Bilam believes in God 1,000%. He wants this joy to be an so Bilam, but he believes in God 100%. Aren't there millions of people that believe in God 100% today that want to destroy us? Hmm? Am Yotzah means a nation happened to come out of Mitzrayim. Hine Kisos, ain't ours. They're covering the whole earth. Wherever you look, you see them. Now, that's the shot. The, 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 the deeper meaning is Ain, Ayin Yud Nun, Ayin. They have covered the eyes. Those two people we hired, Sichan and O, who are giants, who look out for our protection on the East Bank. They used to play tax to us, Sichan and O. They wiped these two eyes out. These two protectors we had. The, because it's always Ain Ho Edo, the eyes of the community means Sanhedrin, the wise men. They see the court further than you see. Oh, they cover their eye where the eye looks on the earth. They're the whole cover, they cover the earth, there are millions of them. Okay, that shot. But Russia is, they kill Sikhan and Og, the eyes. They're they both protect us. They wipe them out. The eastern sp- flank is unprotected. Who Yoshi Memuli, they're living right next to me here. Memuli. Hmm. Memuli, written without a buff. They're all over the place. And you know what? Mamudi is written chaser without a vav. They're next to me. I'm worried about them. They're not worried about me. <laughs> they don't care that they're next to me. I'm worried that they're next to that they're next to me. They're not worried that I'm next to them. Mamudi. The word mamudi is chaser. It doesn't bother them because we're small change. But I've done now. The call police come. So why don't you write the word lech? Lecha. What's with that? Lamet chav hey. To you, female, ending a hey, she'll say leich. Come here. What's lecha? Mm, five. Hey. I want you to wipe them out five different directions. In the north of them, the east, the south, the west. There are three shvatim in the in the north and east. Three in the west. Three in the, uh, the north. Three in the south. And I want you to wipe out the uh, Erevrab, the stragglers at the end. Five different groups. I want you to wipe them out. Lacha no orally curse for me as long as they're this nation. Ki atzu humi many, they're too strong for me. No, God has made them too strong. Ulai, maybe, uchal, nakabo. Maybe when you curse them, then I can beat them militarily. But I go to Shannon Menorah, I want to drive them out of this land. I don't care where they go. Let them go someplace else. I want them to get away out of my area. I know what you bless is blessed. What you curse is cursed. I know your curses work. You're, he's the world's famous, most famous prophet. I want to tell you something. Bullock is the 40th parish in the Torah. Bullock is mentioned 40 times in this sentence. Isn't that something? Bilaam is mentioned, it's actually mentioned 39 times. And 39 and 40 is one difference. We don't, the Balak happened to be the 40th, 40th Parsha, but he's mentioned 39, and that's like 40. How do you know? I told you many times in Gematria, we never worry about one, because you could be wrong. When you say, I'm going to this place, it takes me 10 minutes, does that mean exactly from 9.05 to 9.15? Is that 10 minutes? Maybe it's the end of 9.05, the last second, to the beginning of 9.15. Maybe it's Nine minutes. Maybe it's conclu- and conclu- and co- and concludes all of 9.05 and all of 9.15. So that's 11 minutes. Or maybe it's from the end of 9.05 to the beginning of 9.15. Maybe it's nine, min- uh, nine minutes. Could be 9, 10, 11. Whatever you, you do like that, you could be the max 11 minutes or 9 minutes. So the average is 10. So you could be off by one. Either one too much or one too little. Or the Spiyad Spiyamadu says 20,865 to 20,875. Could be 11 miles or 9 or 10. You know, all of the first and all of the last, that's 11 miles. Uh, at the end of the first, beginning of the, the, the last number, it could be 9. Or it could be an average, 10. So, and Dick Duke, you can all be off by one, either one too much or one too little, it's still right. So there's 40. Uh, name, a pile of Bullock is mentioned uh, 39 times. And the parish is parish of 40, so it's the same thing. Bilam is mentioned 49 times, so 39 to 49 is 10. So Bilam is uh, mentioned 10 times more than Bullock. So it's 10. And I want to tell you something else. Bullock is 132, and Bilam is 142. It's 10. 
this is a remez that the Gamachi Bolach is uh, 10 less than Gamachi of Bilam, 132 to 142, 10 less. And he's mentioned uh, Bolach 39 times and Bilam 49, 10. From here, there is a remez, which we know already, but just a remez that Bilam hated Yisrael more than Bolach. Because more than Bolach says, I want to drive him out of this land here. When Bilam gets to curse, start, uh, wants to curse, he says, I want to drive him off the earth. He hated them more than the king of Moab. Just like Haman hated Yisrael more than Achishverus. We know that from the Gilus Esther, there's riots. He hated them more than the king, uh, Achishverus. Bilam, the prophet, the hired hand, hated them more than Moab. Because Bilam was smarter. He understood that if there's one Jew left in the world, he would rebuild the Jewish people. Like the first Jew built, built the Jewish people, Avram. And sometimes Chukas and Bola come together, you know that? Now this year there's no double centers. Maybe one at the end. There's seven centers that could be double. This year we have almost none. You know why? It all depends how many weeks you have in a year. If you have a regular year of 50 weeks, 354 days, and this solar count is 365, 11 days different, that's about two Shabbos. So we have 50 weeks. When there's a leap year like this year, there's four extra weeks. So we have 54, 54 um, parishes. Because sometimes there's a leap year, you need 54 parishes. There's 54 Pashas total. Do you know that there's 79 Haftoras? You got 54 plus 29. Because, for instance, Pesach, the first two days, the last two days, and if there's a Shabbos Chalamot, it's five Haftoras, different than any one of the Pashas. And Shavuos is two, two days. And Rosh Hashanah is two. And Yom Kippur is morning and afternoon, two. Haftoras. Uh, Sukkot is five, the two the first days, the two last days, and the Chal Shabbos Chalamoid. And the Chanukah is zero because we laid the Haftorah of Haloscha on one Shabbos and the Haftorah of Yakel on the other Shabbos. Tishabab is one Haftorah. The Tanis, all of today's have the one Haftorah. That's 18 different Haftorahs. Then you have Erev Rosh Kodesh has a Haftorah. Rosh Kodesh Shabbos uh, has, has, has a Haftorah special, not the weekly portion. Then Parshish Shkolem has Haftorah, and Zohar, and Poro, and Chodesh, and Parshish Haggad, Parshish Shabbos Haggadah has a special Haftorah, and Shabbos Shuvah doesn't have a special Haftorah. Ah, Haftorah. That's the same as Vayelech, or sometimes Hazinu. So we have 18 and 7, 25 Haftorahs, more than 54. We have 79 Haftorahs in a year, and 54 Parshish. Okay, I just told you that because sometimes Chuk and Zabal come together, not this year because we have a leap year. We had an extra Haftorah, right? Let's go further. Curse me this nation. The Yale who Zikne Moab, so the elders of the government of Moab went, the Zikne Midian, and the elders of Midian, because Moshe was born, was, uh, was, grew up there, and he said, they said, they have the power in their mouth, the Jews. We have a man that can do that too. So they hired Bilam. They went to hire him now, way over there in Iraq. Gusom and Biodom, they were well versed in cults, these pe- fellows that went. So Bilaam shouldn't tell me, nah, it doesn't work, and uh, boo, this reason, that reason. They knew that it would work. But Yovel Bilaam, they took probably 17 days. Or maybe Hashem made Kafitsa Sadera. They got there in one minute. Why should God speed it up? Because the faster you get there, and the faster you curse, they didn't. He blessed them, but at the end he gave his own personal suggestion, which worked with the daughters of Midian, and the faster Bilaam was executed by the Jews. That's what it means. Maybe it took a long time, maybe not this, I don't know. By Yovo El Bilam, they came to Bilam. It says it's by Yelchu, they walked. By Yovo El Bilam, they came to Bilam. The Yedavah loved him, Bolak, they told him this conversation of Bolak. The Yom Elaim, Linu, Kohalai, let's stay every night here. I want to talk to God. Rashivosi has come over. I'll tell you in the morning what it is. Rashidabah, Yud Kevov, Kelai. When Yud Kevov speaks to me, I'll tell you in the morning if I, uh, I can go. Yeshu Shom, Sorim, Ov, and Bilam. So the princes of Moab stayed with Bilam. Where's the Sorry Midian? They left right away. They said, this guy is a loser. Why? Because he says, I'm going to ask you to cave up. Okay. So Rashi says, does a father ever cheer, curse his children? You cave up. Okay. took him out of the shrine. My father's going to curse his children. He said, we're not getting any profit out of it. And any Navi out of him. Any Navu out of him. So they're right. They didn't. He couldn't curse him. He had to bless them. So they left. The Yobel came up, Bill. The Midas Adin came to Bill. Midas Adin. Yomi says, Mia, Noshma, Eli, who are these people over here? 
Hashem doesn't know. Me, Anosh, what are you doing here? What are you do with you? doing here? Hashem doesn't know. He wants to give Bildam a chance to get his thoughts in order and answer Hashem. Just like Hashem came to Adam after he did the Chet. He says, where are you? Hayekho. And the God, the God doesn't know. One man on earth, two people, and uh, He's giving him a chance to prepare himself for an answer. So when you talk to a person, a child, or a student, or a Rebbe, don't, don't attack him with a question. Let him think it over. Don't ask him about another subject when he's learning a different subject. He says, Rebbe, I have a question for you. You know, yesterday you talked about this, this, and this. I was wondering, what would you say if... Don't jump right away. What's this mean? Give a person a chance to recollect his thoughts. You learn that from Akadosh Baruch Hu. Who are these people? You have to tell Hashem who these people are. He's giving Bill them a chance to see. Maybe he can back out. Maybe he wouldn't want to go with them. Me, you and Hashem, I either you walk with you. What did I do with you? The young Bill of Melokim, but Bill said to the Venus at the end. Bolak ben Sipor Melok with Moab Sholach and I. Bolak, the king, the son of Sipor, the king of Moab, sent him to me. In his eyes, I'm very important. Maybe not in your eyes, but they think I'm a very important man. He said, you know, it's a nation that Hayot say we've been trying to went out of Egypt. He said to me, I don't believe this, but Bolak said this nation just went out of Egypt, a certain nation. He didn't say you took them out. He said the nation got out of Egypt and they're all around me now. He named whole surprise, we don't know how it happened. Uh, by itself it looks like. He named Hayosi Mim Slam because it's ain't hard to cover the whole land. Hey, remember I told you to kill the eye in the high the two eye the two eyes, seeking and over. They covered the whole land. After the Khab Kovali, curse for me, Ulai Uchal Hilochim. Maybe if you curse them, they'll be weakened, they won't have their their whim. This chusim I'll kill them with a sword. Uh, the Yilochim of Yigosh Tiv and I'll drive them out and build a man from the world. So Abolim said, just from my land, drive them out. Abolim said, no. He added that, Bill. I'll drive them off the face of the earth. That we're here, you know, the Bilam hated Abolim. Um, you saw more than Abolim. Yom Elohim of Bilam, don't go. Don't say anything more. He says, well, then I'll stay home and curse them from here. He says, low saw is on. Don't curse them even at home. He says, then maybe you want me to bless them? No. Don't bless them. Keep Baruch They're already blessed. Thank you very much, but no thanks. I don't want your stinger, I don't want your honey. From a uh, bee, you get the honey that's made in the front, in the mouth, and the stinger's in the back. So I don't want your favors, I don't want your curses. I don't want your honey, I don't want your stinger. Please do me a favor, just leave me alone. Not your dvash, not your ukits, not your, not, your, not your tail, but the stinger's in the back. That the bee backs down on you like that, and he dies. But um, I don't want your honey. Please, just let it be. That's the end of Shemisha. Now, shame. Yom Bilam Biboker. He got up in the morning. Elsa. He got up early in the morning. By Yom El Sori Bolak. He said to the princes of Bolak, the Chu El Atzkam, go back home. He ain't made the Shem Nasi to his halachim. But God doesn't want me to go with you. So he Bilam heard. Hashem said, don't go with them. But Bilam heard differently. Don't go with them. <laughs> Bigger shots? Maybe yes. Ooh, which means he wanted to go, but he's a big man, a nobby. Send the higher official. Yikuma sorry, Bov, they got up. But Yavo El Bolak, maybe who knows, 15, 17 days trip. But Yomer, maybe they got there in a second. They came to Bolak. They got up, but didn't say they traveled. They came there already. Maybe Hashem made Kifitsa said there in order to order eventually, 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 eventually to cause Dylan to be chopped up in pieces. Like Pinchas chopped him up. The young room aimed about Bilam Haloki one of Ah Bilam doesn't want to go with us. With us. Oh Balak understood. But Yosef owed Bullock, so he understood that. He added more in numbers and higher in rank. Shalok Shapsorim Rabim, many more than a few. Nikbodi made a very more honored than these. But Yovo El Bilam, they came to Bo Bilam, maybe in one minute they were there. They came to Bilam, Yomer Lo, Koamar Bolak Matsiba. So says Bolak Matsiba. I'll not, please, I'll, turn it around, lo, don't, no, don't, please don't, yitimon, uh, um, refuse. Mahalo Eloi, come to me. I'm going to honor you, big cover. But oh, very much, I'll give you the biggest grand parade you ever, entrance parade you ever had. Whatever you tell me, I will do. Go, no, please, cover, curse, it's a this nation. Why does it say, arur? 
Kova comes from the Kava, Nekev, puncture them. Make, find a fault, a mistake, a chet, a bad meter that they have. Put your finger on that meter. And maybe I, we can maximize it. And then uh, God will maybe look at that fault and we can curse them with that fault. Then we can destroy them with the, uh, the sword. They're, then they're, they're not going to win. They're not going to win. Even if they're mighty warriors. If you're destined to lose, you lose. Kava. Some neck of a hole, a puncture. Maybe you can puncture that great envelope around them that's godly protection. Look at Hirsch. The young Bill of Young Melav, the Bullock. In Yitain Lee Bullock, Lo Beso, Kesav Zob. Even if Bullock gave me his own treasury of Kesav means money, not silver. Money and Zob, all the gold. I can't go against God's word. I, I'm not a liar. Elohoi, my God, he believed in God 1,000%. No, I've heard the Zor. I can't do a big or a little thing against God. But after now, Shavon says, stay here, and I'll ask God again tonight what he said. Stay over here, you also. And I'll see my Yosef, what God is going to add to it. He's not changing his mind. Well, what else he adds to it? Hashem, Dabri, me, God, what God speaks to me, what additional information? The Yom Lo came to Bilam. So the Midas Adin came to Bilam. Laila, no, the Yom Lo, he says, oh, by the way, he says, Kabe Lechabdecha, I'm going to honor you. And um, Bilam said, my friend, Baba, tell him it's more than covered. I'm looking for cash. If he gives me all his silver and gold, I can't go against the word of God. Ah, he heard it. Gold, money, covered is garnished. <laughs> can't go to the store and buy food with covered, but you can with money. Even gives me all the money in the world, I'm not going to go against Hashem. So, ooh, so now Hashem says, You're going not Mishma for personal gain? No problem. But the Yovel came up to him, Laila, Yomelo, and the Crow, the Chov, they came to call you. Besides your curse, you get to get something out of this personally, gain, covered, and money. That's what they came. Come, Laiki, don't go with them. It won't work, the, the, the clothes, because you're in it for your ego, for yourself. If it's purely the for no money, it's strictly to curse them, because maybe they have a fault somewhere, and you find that fault, like they did the eagle once, mentioned that, and maybe they did this, and they complained against the water many times, and the slob they wanted meat, and all the different things. Maybe you could find a fault purely for no money, just for hatred. Maybe it'll work. But once you're going for your own personal gain, lechov for you, ah, go. It won't work. And it didn't. Only the word I tell you, that's what you have to do. Whereas Shlishi, now Shlishi, if you come build up a book, you got up in the morning, ooh, said I could go. Baruch of Yahweh Shechasono, he saddled up his donkey. Now, a male donkey is called Chamor. A female is Asom. He had relations with that female. That's the kind of pervert he was. Chai Misa, also for Goyim even. Any kind of perversion, male to male, female to female, uh, animals is chayiv misa. You're a dead man. Even while you're living, usher for all creatures, all human beings. You live with them. How could he have a navi and new navi and be such a low life? There are many people in the world who are geniuses, evil geniuses. Very much liar. You have some good meters. This guy is not a liar. He's never a shock one. Never, never, never did he tell a lie. He only told, said what God told him to say. And he didn't believe in Avodah Zorah idols like, like Bullock and all the other people. He was obeyed in Avodah Zorah, never told a lie. Those people who want to destroy us right now, they don't do Avodah Zorah. Oh, but they tell lies. All checker. The Yachimach and Asano said, the Gemara said, a sinner, a tremendous hate of the Jews, uh, destroys protocol. He himself, donkey, a, a, a saddle up his donkey. He's the biggest nubby to go even have. Yes, has little guys that can take his donkey and saddle it up. He doesn't have to do it, but he's so excited. He got up before the workers. He did it himself. A cinema calculus says a shuro. Sinna destroys the proper protocol. And so it does for Ahavo. But Hashem told him to do the Akedah with his son. Avram was a gold by the Goyim. Nesiyah Lukim. The Prince of God are you amongst us. He was the richest man of Rome. Everybody came to Avram for, 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 for advice. He was the king. They called him the seal of the king. 
He's a rich man. Kobe Mo, very wealthy. Well, but Hashem told him to go to that kingdom. He got up early in the morning and he got saddled his own donkey. Because just like sin on the Kalkelis is Ashura, so Avram the Kalkelis is Ashura. You lose the protocol. You're so excited, you do it yourself. Avram did it, Yosef did it when his father was coming. He's the king of Egypt. But Yaakov is just as a sous of his horse, his wagon. He strapped it together because he sinned up and Ava, his emotions, destroys the proper protocol because he's so involved in emotions, either for good or for bad. Vayelech, El Sorimo, he went with the Sorimo, Midian are long gone. They know he's not going to be successful, and he wasn't. He couldn't curse them. But Yicha Abel Kim, God was furious. He told him, go. Yicha Abel Kim, Kiholiko, he's a goer. Why does it say he holach, he went? No, 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 no. God saw that he really wanted to go, and if he wouldn't have permitted, he would have argued with him and find an excuse. He wanted to do this so bad. He's a whole a go. We're not all lucky. He happened to go, and Hashem was furious that he had this in his mind. The curse he swell. Find some scheme to convince Hashem. Ooh, Hashem didn't like that. But Yicha, our fellow Kim, means I didn't. Ki holechu, he's a goer. He said, I say, Malach Hashem. So therefore, Malach Hashem stood in the road. But there is a Sotom to prevent him. Malach Hashem, you just okay, you just told me, Midas Adin. Midas Arachimim stood in the road and is trying to save this pathetic character from death. Hashem was furious. But, Hashem sent, Elohim sent, you gave off uh, Malach Hashem. Maybe this fool can turn around and not be destroyed. Maybe, maybe I can convince him. So he stood in the road with a sword out like this. Obviously, God doesn't want you to go. So maybe God doesn't have to destroy another man. This is Baal Bilam. Malach Hashem, but there's a sudden to prevent him. Lo. Who wrote about Lo? So he's riding on his donkey. Shnei and Arlevimo. There's two serv- uh, guys are with him. But you know about Terah Hosen. It's Malach Hashem. The, the Sotan. Only the 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 the, uh, Asa, the donkey saw Malach Hashem. Not the Nos, Not Bilam. He saw the Malach Hashem. Rachamim. But he saw about there standing on the road. The Chav Shkuf of Yodav. His sword was taken out of his uh, from his ex uh, from his ex from it's uh, uh, from the sheath. Holding it there. But Tate also in there. He went off the way, he went off the road into the field. But Tate was saw he walked in the field. But Yah Bilam was also he beat him. I told him, but then get back on the road. Bilam didn't see anything. And then he went back on the road. And the Malchashem Hashem went in the pathway in a vineyard. God him is there, God him is there, a brick wall here and a brick wall here, a little room, but not much. But here also is Malach Hashem, he saw him again, the Malach, the donkey. But here, look, it's like here, Elak here, and he squeezed himself by the wall. But here, cast his regular bill, and Bill's leg got crushed, he got against the donkey in the wall. Elak here, you better how can you beat him more? So then he went, Malach disappeared, he went for it. But Yosef, Malach Hashem, Abor, Vayam, Bokum, Sar. He went further, and he got to a narrow, 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 narrow path. He couldn't go one inch right or left, not one inch. Don't you stop? I ain't there to tell you. Minusmol couldn't go right or left. A tear horse is Malch Hashem. He saw it. The Malch Hashem. A tear about Tachas built up. He bent down under the building. He just let that lay down. Yicha Ab Gilim was furious. Third time this animal was acting crazy. But Yaches also b'machem now not with a strap with a stick. He started beating him. Then the miracle of miracles happened. This was pre-programmed at the Shaysis made creations right before Shkia. Right after Shkia, between Shkia and the appearance of three stars, Banish Mushrooms. God made a few things. This is one of them. The Yifta Hashem is Pihosom. Uh, God opened the mouth of the donkey. The Torah of the He says, Ma Sisa Lach, what have I done to you? Kihiki Sarni, that you hit me, says, Sholish will go him three times. Why not Sholish Pahamin? You want to, it means, the Chazal tells you, you want to destroy a nation? That's going to go up to Yerushalayim, Sholish Regalim, three times a year. And uh, God opened the donkey's mouth. Now this was, it was made, the mouth, that there should be a donkey at a certain year, in the year 2488, because it's 40 years after they entered the desert, which is 2448, that there should be an animal, 24, maybe 87, because next year they went into Israel, they were in it, hanging around here for about a year, Moshe died this last year. So God opened the mouth of the donkey. Which means that was pre-programmed at the creation. Why was it done? Erev Shabbos, Ben Hashem, Moshe, why not doing a week? Because there's something Kadosh here. A donkey speaks. And there's something mundane. It's a donkey. 
and it speaks to Bill. Oh, what are you hitting me? What have you? What have done to you that you make me shalish regalim? You know what Bill and the last one, the Bill said to the donkey, "Ki he is allowed for you making fun of me." Oh, Leal is a child you play with. You're playing games with me. It's allowed me. Lu, I wish. Yesh cheder beyond that I had a sword. Ki ato harakti, I kill you. Harakti, the female, I kill you. You know how you're going to get to Iraq with no donkey? You shut your eyes. Well, you get angry, you lose your mind. When you get angry, you say very silly things. Next day, you have to call up and apologize. Because you know, when you get angry, you say stupid things. I'm going to kill you. No, no, no. So how are you going to walk? You're going to walk a uh, 17 day trip. Um, why don't you have a sword? I'll go ahead and carry swords. Because when Bullock sent uh, to the Midianites in the beginning, what's the power of this nation? Said their power is in their mouth and not in the sword. Asaph has a power in the sword, but they have a power in the mouth. So he sent to Bilam, who has a power in the mouth and not in the sword. They didn't have a sword. But since the, the, the Medrash tells us, since Bilam used the power of his soil, the mouth, and not the sword, so uh, since Bilam used the power of Jisrael, which is the power of speech and not the sword, so at the end when he got killed, Pinchas used the power of the sword and not his mouth to kill Bilam. That's the, they took our weapon, we took their weapon. The Goyim have a sword, so ben, Pinchas didn't curse him, he cut him up in pieces. So the Asun said to Bilam, Hello, Anochi, Asun, I'm your donkey. Asher, Rechav, to Allah, he rode upon me. But I would have called from day one, Adi Yom Zed, till today. Asker, Askanti, that was ever, like, from the word, did I ever put myself in Sakana, like this, before, that you beat me? La Asun, Rechav, to do things like this? But Yomi says, no. He sort of uh, quieted up Bilam's complaint. Did I ever do a stupid thing like this before? Then Bilam's eyes were opened up. Sometimes your eyes are open, but you see nothing. Until your eyes are open, then you see something. You look at something, you see nothing. Oh, well, put that under a microscope, then you see something. The Torah is the microscope of the world. Through the Torah, you see everything a billion times that magnified. Like a microscope, if you don't see, do you think your fingers are clean? Why don't you put it under a microscope? You see the millions of organisms walk, walk, in your skin. You see the cells of your skin. Oh, now he opened his eyes and he saw finally what the donkey saw. Vayigal Hashem, he exposed as Ene Bilam, the eyes of Bilam, Vayar Zamal, he saw an angel Hashem, no Odisa, but they're standing in front of him, but there, Kharabushku from Yodu, and his sword was unsheathed in his hand. He, caught, he got down off the donkey right away. When he stuck our lap of he fell down because he's not stupid. He knows what a Malach is. The Yom Elo Malach Hashem. The Malach Hashem said to him, Al Malach Kisus, the son of Chazet Shol Shalom, why did you hit your donkey three times? Hmm? Which means you don't see what the donkey sees. You're such a smart fellow, you don't see what the donkey sees. Didn't you say later on, not full of Gluya Nayim, I may do perversion, but I have exposed eyes, I see everything. That's what Bill said about himself. No, how come you don't see what the donkey sees? I am uh, the, sh- the Sultan. I went in front of the donkey three times to prevent her. It's like, this way you're going is against my wishes. So Hirsch says, why don't you write Yud Reish Dalid Yorad, the Derek, you're going down to Mitzrayim, that, uh, down to, uh, to, um, to, uh, to Moab, that's against my wishes, because you're coming from Syria, uh, from uh, the, the Iraq, coming down, going to the west. So, um, so why don't you write you'd raise Dalit? Why do you raise Tess? Because your rat is a harsh form of your rod. He says he went with such eager and such willingness and such an excitement. He really wants to wipe the Jews out. Tirani, Hassan, and Donkey saw me, not you. You didn't see me, but Tat Lafani is there, shoulders were going, you turned away three times. Ulai, you know, Ulai, not so Ponai, if she wouldn't have turned away, Tiato now, At Gam Osecha, Harakti, I would kill you. But Osa, if I I would let me hit her alive. You wanted to kill the donkey, I would have killed you. Because the donkey did the right thing, you did the wrong thing. You, you beat her to keep going, and he, she saw he can't keep going. I would have killed you, not her. You said you're going to kill her, just the opposite, I'll kill you. 
Yom Bilam Alaf Hashem. No, Chatosi, I didn't sin. Kilo Yadati, I didn't know if you had to eat this of the cross, you're just standing in front of me. But there, if I thought now, Rabbi, and Echem, it's bad in your eyes what I'm doing. Ashuva, the, I'll go back. Rabbi Yisrael, the man standing in the sword, with this John sword three times, you have to ask this question. Sure, it's against your, my God's wishes. In Rabbi Necha Shuva, if you spare me, I'll go back. Of course! What do you think he's standing in the way for? Yom Amal Hashem Abilam. Nah, why don't you go with them? Leich, Im Hadash. The question was so stupid, he had to give a silver to Bilam a sarcastic answer. No, why don't you go? You mean you want to put your head in a, in a meat chopper? Sure, why don't you? you know, we give you enough rope to hang, to hang yourself. You want to get enough rope to hang yourself. If you're shite that you don't understand what's going on, well, go ahead. You will let you go to your own demise, because he just said, should I go back? <laughs> what do you think the miles is standing there with a sword? What do you think he's playing games? No, mom, no, why don't you go with the people? He saw that he's dealing in a certain way with the shite. You know, I'm going to build him. No, let him go with the people in Russian. Epheth, but zero. Nothing but. It's not over. I say, I'm going to speak to you. That's what you have to speak. Don't change any one thing that I, I means I shall speak to you. The age of Bilam and saw him sorry Bolin. He went with the with the, uh, the the princes of Bolin. Now we're going to stop over here, but we're going to just tell you one thing. It says there. Well, you didn't get there yet. Thomas said next page. If you don't have enough time for that, Thomas it says Thomas Navshi Moshe Shorim. Let me die. I would like if I have to die. Let me die like the upright men. That means Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov. Because that Sefer Bresh is called Sefer Yesharim, the upright men. It doesn't say Sefer Sadikim or Tehorim or Kadoshim. Upright men who are Yashar, straight and honest. And uh, Bilam is Gematri 142. And the last three letters of Avram Yitzhak and Yaakov is 142. I would like to die in the way of the Yesharim. That's why Sefer Bresh is called Sefer Yesharim. All right. And um, he says, and also, he had a philosophy that the Muslims have today. The Or HaChayim says on this, my end should be like them. Which means, I want to get Gan Eden like them and have Tchiyas HaMezim like them. Of course, you can't. He thought he could. He's a Novi. He didn't know, he didn't realize he's such a low life that he's not going to get anything but Gan. So I want to be like them. I want to have a future like them. So the Or HaChayim says that the Muslims believe the same thing today. If you're killed by a Jew, there's some effect on you that you're killed by a Jew. The Archaim talks about it, that if you're killed by a Jew, you have some greatness is coming to you in the future world. And it's true that the Neshama of Bilam, eventually, 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 through many Gilgulim, hundreds of years later, hundreds of years later, I don't know how much, it went into the donkey of Pinchas ben Yoyer. The donkey of Pinchas ben Yoyer. Time in the Gemara, no? After the second base of Migdash, that was 800 years later, 900 years, 1,000 years later, it went into the neshama of Pinchas ben Yoyer's donkey. And how do you know that he had some kind of special neshama higher than the donkey? Because when Pinchas ben Yoyer, the Tana, went to uh, traveling on the road with his donkey, and uh, they came to a field where there was some piled up grain, you know, that's he, he went into the hotel, he gave money for his room and money for the donkey to be fed. The donkey wouldn't eat it if that man who owned the field didn't give mice and truma. The donkey he had a higher neshama. He was a donkey of a tana, in his vineyard, but also he had the neshama of Bilam, who talked to his donkey. And when Bilam talked to his donkey, don't you think if your donkey talks to you, the first thing you do is faint? Like a few years ago, a fish talked to a person. The worker faint. When you answer him back, you have a dialogue with a donkey. It doesn't even impress you that a donkey, the first time in the history of the world, that that donkey is talking to you? No. Why should you be shocked? Two donkeys can talk to each other. Two behemoths. You live like a behemoth, he's a behemoth. So they talk to each other. There's no shock. By the way, there's three creatures in the world that are animals that talk. The Nachash talk to Chava. You know, in the beginning. The, uh, the eagle that the Jews made spoke. It says, Anochi the Shem And the uh, donkey spoke to, uh, to what do you call it? To, to uh, Bilam. Three animals talk to each other. Okay, on my side, we're going to end this year right now. There's much more to talk. Five more hours, but... That's enough for one session. It's about, uh, it's a long time, 50 minutes. It's like, it's going to have good shots.